watch a lot of TV. My uh, favorite show is Naked and Afraid. I like everything about it except for the opening sequence. Uh, they say, Naked and Afraid. It's the Everest of survival challenges. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, the last time I checked, Everest was still the Everest of survival challenges. Like, nobody's died on Naked and Afraid. They just got hot and quit. People die every year on Everest. And they have to leave them up there. And the guides use them as landmarks. <laughs> uh, like, uh, are we to the top yet? Yeah, we're pretty close. How do you know? Well, that's Bob right there. He almost made it to the top last year. Cut to Bob. He's frozen solid. He's got his trendy North Face jacket on. He's spooning an empty oxygen tank. Yeah, you almost got that cool Facebook profile picture. That's it. That's Fuck yeah, Spencer Gill. I like your style, Spencer. Where are you from, man? Washington, Oregon. Uh, no, uh, Illinois. Illinois. All right, the Oregon of the Midwest. Um, I love it. Spencer, how long have you been in Los Angeles? Uh, one month. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, I started in 2007, but there's been some hiatuses in there. Ooh. I, I, would, I would imagine so. Uh, 2007, that's a long time ago. What were the hiatuses? Uh, college, I worked at a factory, and I couldn't really get it. And I live, like, in a podunk small town, so... No. <laughs> <laughs> you... You do have that, hey, I'm lost, can you give me directions look. Yeah, yes, definitely. I do. And he was busy filming Last Man on Earth, so. <laughs> no? No Will Forte fans on the crowd? <laughs> Last Man on Earth. Oh, yeah. He does look like Will Forte in that. Like okay, yeah, yeah. No, he looks like Will, uh, Will Fifte, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you're a hit at like, all the Trader Joe's break rooms. You look so much like, like one of those tellers, man. You're a scary looking dude. Uh, oh. We could get you cast in something, hopefully. Uh, All right. what, get... uh, what kind of factory did you work in? A uh, headlight factory. A what? Headlights? A headlight factory, like headlights for cars. I thought you said uh, headlights. Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> it seemed sort of fitting, I was going to say. It seemed like the kind of guy that would breed headlights in a factory. Uh, <laughs> Suspenser. What's your family like? How small uh, of a town are we talking? Let's just get uh, into five, it. 5,000. 5,000. Holy shit. In Illinois? Yes. Wow. And do you guys Big family. listen to podcasts out there? Well, I do. I do. But I don't think anybody else does, so I think I'm safe. How do you, like, know about this stuff? Uh, How do I, you, like, find out about the internet with 5,000 people there? Uh, it took a while. It took a while. Yeah. <laughs> it took a while to get out there. Do you, you find yourself interesting? Uh... No. <laughs> okay. Because, I, I mean, I like the, the... There are people that... There are comics that just take apart, like, a show like Naked and Afraid, and I like it. Uh, and you seem to do... Once you started to talk about the Everest stuff, the, I, I kind of saw the Everest joke coming. It, it was, took a little long. Yep. So uh, I'd lose that or write, try to write it better or try to get into that bit better. If you, want, if you have a big chunk about Everest, uh, maybe I'd try to approach that differently. But uh, what's the most interesting thing about you? I don't know. It's you're probably small, comedy. You're from a know. small town. That's pretty much all. I, I've got no uh, other... Uh, I don't like do the Rubik's Cube or Yo-Yo or a guitar. I play a little guitar. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that, that's your litmus for interesting? <laughs> do the Rubik's Cube. I don't like, do what, the Rubik's Cube or the Yo-Yo. Uh, <laughs> the guitar? You know, I, have I, a, I, 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 I know everybody's having fun with this new thing they call the ball, but... Uh, <laughs> I have, my thing. I have a visual of his grandmother raising him and be like, now get back in here, boy, and I'm going to let you play with the string again. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it was? Yeah, he, <laughs> were you an only child? He, he, he nailed it. I live with my grandparents. Are you fucking serious? Wow. <laughs> well, Bert the Psycho. Dude, you just I should it. work at a fucking fair. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he could, uh, he could be, you guys could all have jobs together. Because <laughs> Spencer looks like he lets people on the rides there. Um, Spencer, so you're working at a factory. What other crazy gigs do you have? Like, I would love it if you were my Uber driver. I would just be scared as fuck the whole time, like, looking in the rearview mirror to see if you were looking at me. Well, I, uh, I was a uh, youth developmental specialist for a while. Oh, yeah. We know what that like means. At, the most rugged program. baby hand job you've ever seen in your life, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Develop those youths. <laughs> do you think there's any chance you could do anything with Tyler Guizar? 
Anyway. Uh, <laughs> What's, what are, uh, when was the last time you got laid? Uh, college. How old are you? 29. Man. Okay. What? Well, jack that shit yeah, up, this is a, this I need is that a, what, the loudest this volume. This is what 29 is. looks like when you uh, give up at 26. Okay. Why'd you give up at 26? I don't know. Well, when he gets naked, people get afraid. Oh, oh, oh I it. like it. Sitting with on a bazooka back there. That's a funny <laughs> fucking joke. One for one, Pat Reagan. Only <laughs> only shooting from half court tonight. I love Fuck. it. Man, you are an interesting. Even your you look like your name would be Spencer Gill. Yeah. You fish? No. He barely does the Rubik's Cube. <laughs> or the yo-yo. You said them like they were like dances from the 50s. I don't do the Rubik's Cube or the yo-yo. <laughs> Favorite band in high school? Fish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Probably like the White Stripes or something. like that. 5,000 in Illinois. Did you guys know any black people? Any Mexican people like Tyler, maybe? No. All right. Really? <laughs> um, that's, that's there, there are a few Mexican people, but uh, no black people. <laughs> so you've been out here for so a month. Happy about did, did you get around often before leaving? Uh, what's the name of the city in Illinois? Uh, Flora. Flora. Ooh, God, that sounds scary. That sounds like the exit that you see at nighttime, like just Flora, and there's nothing else around it. Right. One I knew a girl. Who... Five thousand. Ugh. <laughs> so devil's rejects, man. So what if what if you plugged yourself into these jokes? Like what if you put boring Brian? What's your name again? Spencer. 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 Spencer, Spencer. Spencer? What if you put bo- like boring string playing with Spencer, with his grandma and his grandpa? Oh, well, I've got lots of crisscross applesauce in the in the hardwood living room floor <laughs> with the tube on watching Jack Benny reruns. Wow. What if you put that character into these shows that you watch on TV? Like, what if you put it, if I was on Nick, if I hiked to have her, like, because you seem. I do sort of feel like you're, like, trying to perform a little bit more. Like, you're going more, maybe, maybe yeah, you're a little of, bit more, maybe you have a little bit more, like, in you. Yes, yeah. I got more, yes, I have more than a minute. No, I'm yeah. saying, like, more of, like, that, yeah. like, South, like, scary shit. That you bit. look like? I feel like you should sound more how you look. Yeah, yeah, I've got beard jokes and stuff like that. No, nah, not exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, uh, no. Spencer, I'm going to get back to something. I sort of got off track here for a second. I agree with everything Bert just said, but also this. Brian was on to something. So there, you didn't really get out of there much. Uh, so, like, what's the closest relationship you've ever had with a black person before? Yeah, did you live in a log cabin? Are you related and, to the Lincolns? And are we, are we seeing it right now with you being this close to <laughs> yeah, Brian Moses? <laughs> Pretty much. No, I have <laughs> Get a picture of that. Is this true? Pretty Take much? This is your closest I, encounter well, with do, a black man? I do a comedy in St. Louis when I was back in Florida. Uh, town. Well, this is go. black as it gets. That's true. So, yeah, uh, that's, <laughs> the, that's the black death star. So, so yeah. we, all, we all know that. They all, they all come from St. Louis. <laughs> St. Louis. <laughs> I was listening to Nelly's album. Yeah. Uh, what was that one? How do they take to you? Country the Grammar. I found that album. Black audiences. How do black audiences it. take to you? Oh, they don't like my racist stuff. <laughs> you oh, racist oh. stuff? <laughs> Why did you oh, open with that? Here we go. Here we go, stuff. Spencer. We found I it. I knew we find it. This is like when you told us you were fucking Mexican. Yeah. First of all, there may be nobody in this in in all the show business right now that's more of a current proponent than free speech and being able to say anything you want than this guy right here, Brian Moses, the host Please of Rose Battle. Please give me some racist stuff. So since this is a perfect eclipse, and my black friend with the best sense of humor just so happens to be on the panel. It's good to be here. I want to hear some of these racist jokes that you have. Brian, do you as well? I, I can't wait to hear these, by the way. Because I was going to say, like, you're a closet racist, but you're totally out. So I like that about you. Because yeah. you look like this one. We, we want you to come all the way out of the closet. Yeah. If, it, if the N-word's in it... <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say it. That's your favorite. I didn't member? correct that, that random that? audience member for the first time in 170 episodes. They can't wait either. Spencer, fire off your, some of your favorite racist jokes for us. This is great. Oh, if, anybody, if any black people in the room want to kill Spencer at any point, I mean, you can do whatever you want. But, I mean, but you have to wait until after. And uh, when, 
like way after, at the end of the night, when he's like walking, I love walking you, to the Flora, bus stop. Illinois. Or Can't do it here, all right? You're gonna get us in trouble. The manager's watching right do, over do there. Do that the laugh factor. Put your hands together for Jody, everybody. One of the coolest yeah. managers. Everybody's so cool. Let all right, racist. let's hear some racist jokes. Okay, uh, I get accused of being racist or like white supremacist, but I, I'm not racist, and uh, I, don't, I don't even understand white supremacy. Like, if whites were the supreme race, then why does a supreme pizza have everything on it? Sh- shouldn't it be just cheese? You can call me slicest all you want to. I think the supreme pizza should be pepperoni. Pepperoni power! Pepperoni power! Sorry. I can see there's some veggie lovers in the audience, you goddamn veggie lovers. Wow. If you're offended by that joke, you have thin crust. Oh, hey. hey. Oh, dial I it. I love this. Do not be afraid. That wasn't even that racist. Uh, that wasn't racist uh, at all. Oh, I, got some, uh, I got some other better ones. Uh, <laughs> By the way, if I that was a fast, two. my favorite thing of that entire thing was how fast it went. From, it was, as soon as the joke started, it went from zero to 100 real quick, right? He goes, you know, some people say I'm a racist and a white supremacist. <laughs> Like, I've never heard that set up in, in, in nine years of doing stand-up comedy pretty much every night. I've never heard I've never someone go, you know, some people say I'm a racist or a white supremacist. You know what I'm talking about, right? When people call you a white supremacist, the way you said that was unbelievable. I feel like you performed yeah. in Flora, Illinois quite a few times. <laughs> Mostly rallies. All right, can we get him perhaps some more? Wait a second. Hey, uh, Tony, we got some breaking news, though. Jeremiah just had to puke again. Oh, is that true? Yeah, I didn't want to do it in front of you guys. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. And you came out dressed like Peter Pan for some reason. <laughs> 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 the wig fell off when I threw up. The <laughs> wig. <laughs> wow! Breaking news here on Kill Tony: There is a mound of gray hair on a pile of puke in the main room bathroom right now. Wow, that's epic! <laughs> the wig fell off when you were puking. Were you still an Alfred voice? I was like, oh, sorry, toilet. I was like, oh no, no. <laughs> Why do we fall, Master Wayne? <laughs> <laughs> so we can load up and got held back up. <laughs> Jeremiah Watkins. Spencer, can we get one more racist joke from me? Oh, do you have any rape jokes? Time? Oh, I have another. It's too long, though. It's do you have long, any rape so. jokes? Rape jokes? No. He's Just trying to think of one real quick. Legally, <laughs> start start off with some people call me a rapist. <laughs> some people call me a rapist, or you know, it's a one chick, it's one rapist. fucking chick. Yeah. Rape supremacist. Yeah. <laughs> give me that, yeah. Give me that fucking that hard ass that re- not the n word, but I mean like that really hard what, racist what joke. What do you yours. think? The, what, uh, let me it ask takes you two this. Minutes, so let me, so it's I, Brian, I think long. this is the question that uh, that you're asking. What is the meanest thing that you've ever thought or said about a black person in your life? Thought or sa- yeah, said? Yeah, ready. <laughs> what was that? Thought or said? What? Was it thought or said? Let's do both. <laughs> Let's do said first and then thought Oops, second. You say both and we'll guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm not really racist. I don't know. Sorry. Wow. I just have American oh, history. You can do oh, oh, I got one. Have you ever heard a yes and, Spencer? All right. Um, <laughs> nothing on that? Most Probably racist not. thing you've ever said out loud. You know what it is. You remember. You remember what that situation was like. You're there. You're trying to get a parking spot or something like that. Well, there's no, there's no black people in Florida. I, Oh, yeah, that's true. It's like a reverse thing. I guess you can't really you can't be that racist. can't be racist if there's no black All right, then what's the, what's the worst thing you ever yelled at your TV that a black person was on? <laughs> Pass the ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Pass the ball. Holy shit. Spencer, anything? <laughs> I got nothing. Sorry, sorry, Tony. I love that. It's okay. Yeah. Tony uh, doesn't doesn't he look like the Spencer that owns Spencer's gifts? <laughs> <laughs> Ironic because he's never been to Spencer's gifts. I promise you. I've been there. Oh yeah. <laughs> really? Why didn't you pick up a Rubik's cube? <laughs> oh! 
Oh, oh, one of those are the yo-yos. One of those are yo-yos. <clears throat> Spencer, so you were raised by your grandparents. Yep. Mm. All right. Were they a little racist, do you think? Oh, <laughs> their grandparents. Oh, oh, wait a second. Did you guys hear the people with no black people? Did you guys, yes, guys hear racist. the noise he just made, though? It's so compelling to me. He just like <laughs> moaned like some kind of dying yeah, deer. I, I can't. I can't watch uh, The Price Is Right with my grandparents. Wait, you're telling this me it, they're, wait, they're so <laughs> racist that there's too many black people on The Price Is Right for them? <laughs> that might be the most racist oh, shit we've ever heard in our lives. Absolutely. I can't watch this Price Is Right all those fucking... <laughs> I'm not going to say it. But, I, but it's a, I said enough to put the image in your head and my black friends are all laughing, so we did it again. The funny thing is, he nailed it. <laughs> you oh can't watch The Price is Right. Oh, that's that so that great. That is the I've funniest oh shit. Like, God. this is stuff that you fucking... Look, Give some people me. might not get it, and it might take a while, but if you want to do stand-up, and, like, it just seems like that type of fucking shit. Like, wow. if you talk about... Like, you didn't even think that was that crazy, right? But then yeah, you hear that reaction good. and the explanation and everything, and that's your real thing. That's yours. Your grandparents were so ra- Your grandma, did you say? <laughs> Specifically, I think you narrowed it down. Or did you say both grandparents? Oh, both, yeah. Oh, yeah. both. Oh, That's, they're just teaming yeah. up. Ta- well, man. It's priceless. Tag teaming each other with racism. Oh, look at her run to that fucking front. <laughs> <laughs> Not wearing a bra. Who doesn't wear a bra? Well, well, well. Oh, and what's that name say on the name tag? <laughs> Jaquan? What, what does that say? Tyler? Michael? Tyler. <laughs> well, well, another Stinko playing Planko. I don't hey! know what's going on. <laughs> Racist prices right jokes. Everybody. Of course she's gonna know how much the cleaning supplies is. She's Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh now this one, now there's no way that that black man's gonna know what a Christ Lilla Baron cloths. <laughs> oh. oh I fucking love this bit, man. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> Watching R- the Price is Right with racist grandparents. Yeah, so good. Is by the way, is a fantastic fucking bit. Doesn't need to even be able to guess the price of the car if he just takes it off the lot right after the show's <laughs> over. Watch those keys, Bob Barker. Hey, Miguel, it's in dollars, not pesos. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I fucking love yeah. this bit. <laughs> Me too. Oh, we crew. So I hope they're going back this. to Africa. <laughs> I hope the hell she did. <laughs> amazing. No, you're absolutely right. I hope they win a trip to Africa. <laughs> That's amazing. Nobody heard it. That's Brian oh, Moses. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, what are you learning here, Spencer? I mean, what are, the same thing we've been learning all night is that if you dig a little bit and you find out something <laughs> about you yeah. that's, you know, priceless to you, then you have a fucking gold mine. And oh, racism man. with prices, right? I mean, oh, it's so, so universal. Great. It's the cleanest show and the, the nicest, most friendly show, and you can't watch it with your grandparents because they're too racist. That <laughs> oh, is, that is so gold. fucking good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Showcase showdown, motherfuckers. <laughs> Always making that. You know they have to have a certain amount of them win. Yeah. <laughs> Change it. It's an Asian and a Mexican. I don't even want to see who wins. That ain't even the real price. They uh, need to let them win sometimes so that America sees them win. How are you love... going to have a six-foot-three black man spin the wheel against a white girl? That ain't fair. <laughs> I love this bit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they need to put a club. They need to put the club on that wheel. Stop them from spinning it. Oh, like Jesus that. Christ! <laughs> sure, sure. They can all gamble on how much the car is. The Mexicans going to steal it anyway. I fucking love that. I want this bit. I want to meet your grandparents. I want to watch the prices right with your fucking grandparents. Bob Barker oh. better watch his beauties, or they're about to get raped. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I mean, just random rape. There you go. Price is right joke. <laughs> It's all yours, Spencer. It's your story. You get it. You tonight you won your own Price is Right joke. There he goes. Yeah. Spencer Gill. Any hey, any of those tags, anyone you want. <laughs> Give that last part. God, that was good. Oh man. That's like they good. love Judge Judy though. I can't figure out exactly what you look like right now, Jeremiah. There's something like with that haircut, like it's some kind of like because you don't have like your normal flare out oh, thing. You, you normally use like a curling no. iron before the show.